关于的罗玉章，请你回电话，打电话给卢素珠，电话是三四二八六三四，关于的罗玉章同学，如果你有问题，可以打。Well, here we are at the uh, Buddha Image Temple, and this place is absolutely, absolutely just filled with images of Buddhas, and there's one of the uh, special, usually a temple door. It goes up to some other building up there. You see some of these characters up here. Hey, sweetie. How you doing, cutie? Hi. Oh. Are you having a good time here? Ah, are you having a good time here? And this is a little garden. Wonderful Chinese scene here. And I mean, there are a lot of Buddhas here. A lot. <laughs> Check them out. A lot of Buddhas. A lot of Buddhas. I mean, a lot. More Buddhas than you've ever seen in your life. There they are. Probably never seen this many Buddhas. I don't think I've ever seen this many Buddhas. <laughs> Incredible. And one more shot of this quite incredible collection of Buddhas. May not look like it, but all of these are different. And here we are at another level. This is some kind of recreation hall that they've built. It's the top of the stairs. And all these little shops sell things that are for Buddhists. You can see this very, very large Boshan. Very large. And we have some kind of reception hall here. A couple of nuns going up into this complex here. And there's little Miss Phoenix and Ray. 
I don't know if we look back up in here, there's more stuff way back up in there. Some other temples and whatnot. Quite lovely here. Nice big door with uh, huge lions on it. There's Ray and Ray's brother's husband and their little boy. Sister and husband. <laughs> Every little detail is about the Buddha. <laughs> hey. Hi, Phoenix. Bye, Phoenix. And this is about the top of the hill here. Some some particular hall. Who knows what for? But quite lovely. And this is a hall of Buddhists. Every single one of these has a small Buddha in it. And there's these huge Buddhas here. There's Ray and Phoenix at the temple. The temple of the big Buddha. And as I was saying, every one of those little cubbies is in fact a little Buddha. And as you can see, there are a lot. And in fact, this See, this entire hall is filled with Buddhas. And this stack right here, which I'm going to take you right into, is in fact composed of literally thousands of little Buddhas, little gold Buddhas. Now, if we just back off on this, I think we can catch an idea of the scale that we're talking about. And there's one of the big boys. Ah. This is the absolute back of the building. We have two wings like this. And you can see here where they're actually building some new area. And this is actually behind the temple hall we were just in. Absolute beautiful paintings here up on the roofs. All hand done, of course. Some gold leaf and whatnot. Lots of detail. How about these three guys? 
fairly intense. I always like getting a little detail in the action here. Absolutely beautiful. Let me check that out. The Chinese have been using the, uh, actually it's the character Wan, means the 10,000 things. A very, very ancient Chinese symbol. Very ancient Buddhist symbol. They've been using it for a couple of thousand years at least. So, anybody who thinks the Nazis <laughs> invented it were wrong. And the Chinese have them both ways. As you can see, these, these are turning clockwise, but they also have counterclockwise. You've probably never seen as many Buddhas, and you probably never will, because this is the biggest temple in Taiwan, and therefore probably the biggest in the world, because the mainland had destroyed most of theirs, unfortunately. And this is the other wing, some kind of, there's two of them either side, and if you check out, and most of the window sills, they have even more Buddhas. This is um, Sakyamuni. You can see a few more up there as well. The detail of the roofing is quite impressive as well. And this is the absolute back building, so. Even the roof have little, <laughs> looks like elk and some dragon dogs. The roofs are pretty important because it's how they protect the building, so they put little figurines and whatnot on top to scare away demons. And there's Ray and Phoenix, the stars of the show. Up here, you can see this is like a wide angle here. A little professional, right? <laughs> this is obviously a new addition. It's not finished yet. There's the other wing. There's the stairs that we just came up. And this is actually the back side of that Buddha room we were just in. You can see that this is still concrete here. They haven't finished it. And again, more Buddha images. This side, which is the right side, all the Buddhas are gold. And the roof, more Buddhas. And if we back off on this and come all the way around, you can see on this side, they're all white Buddhas. I say Buddhas, but they all are actually gods. They have different names and stories and tales and all that good stuff. Lots of Chinese roofs. Okay. And now we're going to go into this building here. Nice bonsai there with beautiful glass etch windows. Hey, Phoenix, all the water, huh? Phoenix. Oi. Well, this is quite nice. Here along this little walk here, they've got actual 
Beautiful orchids here. Unbelievable. Gorgeous. And you can see that in the trees here, they've put quite a few of them. All the way down. Walking down that road. And we're fading. Fading out. Well, here you can actually see me filming out here. Uh, if you can see that. Hi. Nice Buddha. Some kind of fondien. Um, in a hotel or something like that, out here on the grounds. And we're talking a lot of gold Buddhas. I mean, a lot of Buddhas. And here we are the main statue area. And as you can see, we have lots of Buddhas. Have you had enough of Buddhas yet? <laughs> because there are a lot of Buddhas. This place has got so many Buddhas. I mean, they call it Buddha Land for a good reason. Of course, there is one of the larger Buddhas. And I mean, this one is very, very large. Almost dizzy from that. Now, this is actually base of the statue as you can see. And each one of these, each one of these Buddhas actually is Guanyin. And you can see each one <clears throat> has a different pose symbolizing a certain aspect of God. The detail is just almost overwhelming. I mean, everywhere we look on this thing, there's just, it's just endless. We can go into these things and it's just profound. And the courtyard out here of many Buddhas. Pure land, Buddha land. Most of these are just a little bit short of being life size. Not oh, pretty large. Of course, that's the big boy we just saw a few minutes ago, which is quite large. And we're walking around up there. As you can see, as you can see, this is going to be entitled Too Many Buddhas. 
And just to give you an idea of scale, we'll go ahead. And put this here and take a walk. And these are in the end of this row here. We have even more Buddhas. They're like everywhere. Each one of these Buddhas are holding a very interesting scepter. And another look here at the, the main Buddha with all of his tutelary deities. And there are a lot. Now from the main Buddha, you can see that this is built up on a hill here. Those are Tibetan stupas there. And that's the walkway that we walked up to the place. This little scene out here where obviously they worked the, the riverbed out there. And that's the little place where we parked the car. Our car is... not visible from here. <laughs> Anyhow, that's where we park. Another store and restaurant there, part of the complex here. Unfortunately, you can't really see out here. If you look down, there's walkways and gardens, but the rest of it is all back in there. You can see another temple down there with an extremely ornate roof. And whatnot. That's not part of this complex here. I'm building something on the hill there. And one more view here. And you can't really see it, but there's part of the complex that we've walked through and whatnot. It's lovely up here. Very hot today too. <laughs>